there is no doubt that the second Starship flight is the most anticipated space event this year. Although this monster left the ground on April 20, it exploded quite early. Instead of disappointing Elon Musk, this motivated him to be determined to upgrade and launch it into the sky again. The upcoming second flight promises to fire the public up with unique upgrades on the Starship that have never been seen before. Most notably, there will be a design that has been used since the 20th century, but will reach new heights through the hands of SpaceX's genius engineers. Called Hot Stage Separation, this promises to be a game-changer in the aerospace industry. Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. The first test of integrating its Super Heavy Booster and the Starship upper stage ended up with a big bang which was caused mainly by errors in the engines. Besides, stage separation on the rocket did not occur since the vehicle was not able to have MECO main engine cut off, which led to the explosion in both stages. Honestly, in IFT number one, Starship had no separation mechanism at all. The vehicle's stage separation initially was inspired by the satellite deployment system used on Falcon 9 launches of Starlink V1 and V1.5 satellites. The Falcon 9 upper stage gets put into an end-over-end -end rotation and simply releases the tension rod that fixes the satellites to the payload adapter. This sudden loss of the centripetal force then flings the satellites out into space due to the centrifugal force. The Starship stack used a similar maneuver to separate the Starship upper stage from the Super Heavy booster. Right before the main engine cutoff, the Super Heavy gimbaled its engines, causing the vehicle to start rotating. By using the booster's gimballing Raptor engines to impart a small but significant rotation on the rocket moments before separation, Super Heavy could effectively flick Starship away from it. Although this method seems quite effective, it also has some disadvantages. As soon as you shut down the lower stage engines, the rocket stops accelerating forward. Gravity and air resistance start robbing velocity. The fuel in the upper stage tanks begins to float in weightlessness, which makes it hard to direct that fuel to the upper stage engines so you can light them. The stages don't naturally drift apart. That drag on the front of the rocket actually wants to keep them stuck together. Most rockets implement some kind of pushing system to shove the upper stage forward and away from the lower stage. For the Falcon 9, this is a literal pusher arm that shoved the upper stage by pushing on the engine. Other rockets use small ullage rocket motors that provide some separation force and settle the fuel in the upper stage tanks. For those reasons, to increase the chances of success for the next flight, SpaceX shifted to a new approach, which is hot stage separation. Hot staging, which has been used on Russian launch vehicles for decades, involves igniting the engines on one stage while still attached to its lower stage. Musk said that, for Starship, most of the 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster would be turned off, but a few still firing when the engines on the Starship upper stage are ignited. Doing so requires some modifications to the Super Heavy booster. They include an extension to the top of the booster that is almost all vents to allow the exhaust from the upper stage to escape while still attached to the booster was installed. SpaceX will also add shielding to the top of the booster to protect it from the exhaust. Both of them are very crucial since SpaceX wants to reuse its boosters, so letting the upper stage engines explode the interstage is undesirable. Musk feels it is worth it that there will be a meaningful improvement in the payload to orbit at 10% in doing this new design. For hot staging, as I said, you just light the upper stage engines while the lower stage engines are still lit pushing. This means the second stage starts with its fuel already pushed to the bottom of its tanks and with no gap in engine burn where the rocket loses velocity. It is an explanation for Elon's quote, never stop thrusting, helping save energy and increase the rocket's payload capacity by 10%. Not only does deliver performance benefits, but the spacecraft's new approach to stage separation also helps reduce costs. For the stage separation mechanism in normal rockets, hardware is used to hold the stages together, and there is a separate mechanism to separate the stages. Explosive nuts or bolts are used in the clamps to hold the stages together, to release the clamps, the nuts or bolts are then exploded along seams. However, SpaceX doesn't apply that mechanism in any of its rockets because its goal is to make the booster reusable. Explosive bolts would damage the area around them, 
requiring repair work that the engineers do not want to do. Another claim disadvantage is that you cannot test explosive bolts to be sure they work. You can only test a statistical sample of them and hope that the ones you did not test will work okay. In the case of the Falcon rocket family, there are interstage clamps, but instead of being held by explosives, there are piston-driven clamps that are pressurized by helium. Similarly, the new Starship approach to stage separation uses no additional hardware beyond the clamps. Following exactly the principle, the best part is no part. SpaceX eliminates anything unnecessary. Thanks to that, excess costs are minimized, contributing to reducing the cost per rocket launch. Minimalism in the design of hot staging is also helpful in speeding up design, speeding up or eliminating refurbishment of reusable vehicles, and improving reliability. The hot stage separation's downside is you're starting one or more powerful rocket engines inside the top of the first stage. To eliminate the risk of the first stage being destroyed by the rocket's exhaust in the process, both vents and heat shields are needed to the booster, as you know. In short, Starship's engineers were smart to come up with the idea of adopting hot stage separation and then upgrading it to match Starship because of its benefits in terms of performance, cost, design, refurbishment, and reliability. For that reason, if the system can work well on a super powerful rocket like Starship, it promises to make a big bang in the aerospace industry. Most obviously, it will help the probability of Starship's second flight to orbit reach 60% much higher than the first one as Elon expected. Of course, that buzz success for Starship will pave the way for more significant achievement in its later flights. In the long run, it could contribute to changing the way rocket manufacturers think about reusable rockets. Although known to be more cost-effective than expendable rockets, many people still feel apprehensive about reusable rockets due to the pretty high cost of reusing the rocket. Take for example the case of Falcon 9. The cost of reusing a SpaceX rocket primarily depends on the refurbishment process required after each flight. Estimates it can range anywhere from $2 million to $6 million. SpaceX invests a significant amount of time and resources into inspecting, refurbishing, and testing the recovered first stage to ensure its safety and reliability for future missions. This process includes replacing any damaged or worn-out components, conducting thorough inspections, and performing extensive testing to ensure the rocket meets the rigorous standards set by SpaceX. However, it is essential to note that these figures are rough estimates and can vary depending on the extent of refurbishment required for each individual rocket. The SpaceX team is also aware of this, so they have redesigned the hot stage ring to be simpler and more reliable than the previous versions, thereby reducing costs related to refurbishment while also contributing to reducing the cost of reusing the rocket. Hopefully, it will become a great suggestion for manufacturers in making reusable rockets. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.